Hey guys, welcome back to the Diesel Stop. So uh, I figured I'd make a quick little video on this uh, Dodge Cummins that I picked up here just not too long ago. And this is the uh, gray Dodge. And it's showing uh, 290,000 on the clock there. And it has a melted down piston in this motor. This is a uh, 12 valve Cummins with the uh, P-pump on it. And the reason why the uh, piston melted down is the uh, previous owner had a little bitty air filter not even suited for a uh, Toyota Camry. And uh, anyway, the thing was smooth plugged up and anyway, he knocked the seals out of the turbo and anyhow, he ended up melting the piston down in this thing. So uh, let me fire this thing up here if I uh, can get these batteries to work for us here. It's about 25 degrees outside and I haven't started this thing up and probably, uh, well, three or four weeks since I bought it and so I got the uh, typical Dodge dash in it so I have to get a new bezel for it and a few things like that so uh, let's see if this thing's gonna start <laughs> of course she's got a pretty good miss Looks pretty goofy right there. I don't know who in the hell in their right mind would do something like that. But uh, anyway, it's got a whole bunch of cab lights up there on the top. So uh, whenever I get this motor built in this truck, I'm gonna paint the truck or take it and have it painted. I do have a, uh, a stock bed for it. It did have a flat bed on it, so I'm not gonna put the flat bed back onto this truck. I've got the uh, stock bed for it, and then. Um, it's got a good transmission and transfer case and right before I bought it the uh, the old boy thought he was going to pull the uh, drive shaft out in a few other parts and uh, anyway I ended up getting the drive shaft back and he got one of the headlights and it was kind of like uh, I already made the deal on the truck then he started going out there and getting parts off the truck so I did recover the drive shaft out of the deal, out of the deal so I'll just have to uh, bolt the uh, drive shaft back on there and the uh, seats this one here is worn of course that's from uh, sliding your butt in on the corner of it and uh, I'll find a good set of seats for this truck yet and stuff like that but this is going to be a later on project like way later on down the road I don't have uh, much time to mess with it but I am going to uh, be uh, getting the uh, pistons and bearings and all that coated down there at Polydyne whenever I go down there here this uh, next month and of course uh, Whenever I go down there, I'm going to be uh, having all the parts coated for the 1,000 horse uh, Black Betty build. And then um, the parts for this coated. And then I still got to get some stuff for the uh, Molly project. So I've got a lot of things going on. And uh, I just had not had much time here in the last few months because it's been kind of crazy for me, guys. But uh, that's what this thing here sounds like. Surprisingly, this truck still does run and it starts in a... Uh, on a uh, 25 degree day. It just uh, runs a little bit rough with that uh, melted down piston in it. We'll make her all better guys. So anyway, if you hadn't had the chance to subscribe, subscribe and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. 